Men, hold your fire. It's the Jedi the Council sent. Sorry, Jedi. We're all a little on edge. I understand. You have every right to be on edge. Thanks. We've contained Lorana, but I don't know what to do. She was a great passenger at first. Happy, smart, interested in the ship. But then we were hit by an Imperial ambush. Lorana fought them off. Almost died from her wounds. After a day or so, she started talking... Strange, and then the slaughter. So she was hurt, and then she went insane? After the ambush, we put out a call for medical assistance, and a Jedi Master answered. He healed her right up. He was odd, though. Had these horrible scars he kept covering. Never said his name. You know, Lorana was different after he left. It's possible he wasn't a Jedi at all. But he healed her. The girl's as strong as a Rancor. It was a struggle, but we managed to trap her in the aft section. If I can just... Lieutenant Wynn, Lorana's slicing into the Carida systems. She's taking over the whole ship. She'll start shutting down life support soon. No! Jedi, please! You're the only one who stands a chance of stopping her! Do whatever you have to. Just don't let Lorana kill any more of my men. I won't let you down. Thank you. I'll release the lockdown for a moment to let you in. But I won't risk Lorana getting out. There's a comm device back there. Contact me when you've taken care of her, and I'll release the lockdown again so you can leave. Good luck. What have we here? A little engineer poking around where he shouldn't? I wonder what this button does. <laughs> Was that the airlock? Silly me. Bye bye, little engineer. Lord Duras Fane's daughter, Lorana. Lorana Fane? Why, yes, that's me. How did you guess? The ship is nearly under my control. Isn't it wonderful? The darkness is coming, but it won't take me. 
Lord Vivikar has taken control of your mind. You must resist. Lord Vivikar? The nice man who healed me? He warned me about you. But you're not going to kill me, Jedi. I won't let you. I won't let the darkness take me. Go away or I'll open the airlock. I'd rather die than be taken. Please, Larama. I can shield you from the darkness. Lies! Lord Vivikar warned me about your lies. The Jedi just betray and kill each other, he said. He's going to make me his apprentice. Master Fane is waiting for you to come home, Larama. Are you going to let him down? My father? Wait. You're... you're the Jedi who saved him from his illness? I was going to visit him... before the ambush. And the healer came. Lord Vivikar. No. No, the darkness is coming! I can't stop it! Don't worry, Lorana. Everything's going to be alright. What did you do? You look so weak. But Lord Vivikar's voice is gone. The voice in my head. How did you do it? A shielding ritual that blocks Vivikar's influence. The same ritual that saved your father. But it's taken a lot out of you. And the difference for me, it's like night and day. I just can't believe I let that monster Make me do those terrible things. I'm sorry. I, I... I'm going to lock myself in the brig until we reach a port. I don't trust myself. Narana, my child, my apprentice, Jedi. So, you have robbed me of a most promising student. As if that will delay the inevitable. You Jedi are an endless source of amusement. Is that why you created this plague? For your amusement? For power. I was once a Jedi like yourself. A mindless drone to the Order's precious code. There is no emotion, only peace. I believed, but the teachings of the Dark Lord Terek Morridge showed me the error of my ways. Thousands of years ago, Morridge's hatred nearly crushed the Jedi. That is true power. I already know how to stop the plague. You mean your shielding technique? The Jedi do love repeating their mistakes. You know how the originator of that technique died, don't you? He sacrificed too much of himself and perished nameless. Everyone I have ever touched could fall to this plague. You cannot shield them all. What if I use my shielding technique on you? My power is already beyond your comprehension. 
and every moment makes me stronger. You are too late. I've already won. restored Lorana Fade to the light. She's in the brig and won't cause any harm. Are you sure, Jedi? I mean, she killed a lot of my people. I know. She will face justice for it. Don't worry. I trust you. You saved our lives, and if Lorana's in the brig, she should be secure there. I'll report back to Master CO immediately. You should do the same. Once we get the ship back under control, we'll set a course for Coruscant. Thank you for everything, Jedi. level of service is my greatest pleasure, Master. And I am not just programmed to say that. I've just received Bellowin's report. I'm so glad Lorana Fane is shielded and well. Thank you for my daughter's life. I have to go to her. Did you manage to learn anything more about Lord Vivacar, the Plague Master? He claimed that he was once a member of our order. I'm listening. So this scarred man who healed Lorana Fane is Lord Vivacar. Amazing work, Jedi. Still no leads on how to find him, but we do know more about his plague. Hopefully we can put that information to good use. Unfortunately, we now have the chance. Two more Jedi Masters have now gone silent. In their last transmissions, both Masters said... The darkness is coming. One master was on Alderaan, the second on Tatooine. You must go to these worlds and investigate, quickly. I will do everything in my power to help. Thank you. I know you will. May the Force be with you on Tatooine and Alderaan. Good luck.